Welcome along guys back to the garage. Well I'm a man who's known for bolting on some modifications onto his motorcycle but I've never sat down and worked out which is the most cost effective weight saving mod you can do to your bike. So today I'm going to do just that. So I have carbon fibre panels, I also have titanium bolts coming out my ears and I also have lithium batteries. So we're going to see today work out which is the most cost-effective mod you can do to your bike to save a bit of weight. Stick around. Now I've been down all this route before and I have had totted up some weights in, in the past when I've done this but I've never worked out the pound per gram cost of saving weight on your bike. So this is what we're going to do today, which should be quite interesting and also rather scary. <laughs> so what have we got to do? What are we bolting on? Well, I've got carbon fibre from my good friends at Moto Composites. Now, what they've sent me is actually, they do two different sorts of carbon fibre. This is the fiberglass backed carbon fibre, which is the cheaper alternative, which really probably won't save much weight. It's just really for the look. So we're going to include tests on that. We're also going to include tests on their pre-preg carbon fibre they do, which is the full-on F1 type carbon fibre, pure carbon fibre, no fiberglass backing. There should be some weight saving there, but there's a higher cost. So again, what's the cost per weight? So let's find that out. We've also got titanium bolts, engine bolts, caliper bolts, steering stem bolts, full set of titanium, sorry not carbon, titanium bolts to go onto the bike from race fasteners. Now again, this is a great way of saving weight, taking off the steel bolts, putting on titanium, but there's a big cost to this. So we'll work out what the cost per pound is to transfer to titanium bolts. And finally, swapping the battery. There's a massive weight saving taking off the standard lead acid batteries from the bike and swapping over to lithium. So we compare the weight difference and the pound per saving by doing that as well. You could also just have a big poo before you go out for a ride. That'll probably save a few pounds, but that isn't sustainable. <laughs> so let's get started. So already I've fitted a titanium exhaust onto this bike. So I can include that as part of the best weight saving overall. So on the left here, we've got the full Van Demon exhaust. So I've already worked out my cost per gram to put that exhaust on. And it's cost me 16 pence per gram of weight saving to put that exhaust on. So I saved 11 kilos in that installation. The exhaust costs 16, 1,862 pounds retail, which works out at a cost of 16 pence per gram saved. Of course, with an exhaust, you're not just saving weight, you're adding performance to the engine, you're adding sound to the engine, you're adding looks to the bike. So titanium exhaust, I think, is actually gonna work out quite cost effective when you compare to some of the other stuff we're going to be doing. So the bike we're going to be doing all this fantastic work to is my Ninja H2. Absolutely incredible. That is the Van Dimon exhaust I've already spoken about, bringing on an absolutely gorgeous colouring to it now. Look at the colouring of those headers. It's polished titanium, absolutely amazing. That's 16 pence per gram, well spent in my opinion. So let's get stripping things off. I think first of all, let's do the, the infill panels, which we're going to be swapping to carbon. Also the rear hugger, we're going to be swapping over to carbon. And let's see what weight savings we've got there. Look at that. Look at that weave. Standard, 184 grams. Carbon, 237 grams. The second infill, slightly smaller this one, 61 grams. The fiberglass backed carbon, 117 grams. So considerably heavier. It's interesting to see that this fiberglass backed carbon is actually heavier than the standard plastic being removed. I wasn't expecting the carbon I'm putting on 
to be heavier than the panels I'm taking off. Let's hope I have better luck with the battery. Oh, it's feeling heavy. Let's get that sucker out. Whoa. Standard battery in kilos, 308 kilos, three kilos that battery, which is lighter than some batteries I've, uh, I've measured. The Shido lithium battery, eight, 0.84 kilos. Incredible, what's that, two and a half, two and, at least two and a half kilos saved immediately. And that weighs, that feels like it weighs nothing. Compared to that, it's, it's, it's an incredible weight saving. Incredible, let me try that again. 0.84 grams gives us a weight saving of 2.2 kilos, 2.25 kilos. Wow. The price per gram is the price, 126 pound, divided by the weight save. Gives us a cost per gram of six pence. So for every gram of weight I've saved, it's cost me six pence to get that weight saving. You compare that to fitting a full titanium exhaust, it's cost me 16 pence for every gram I've saved from the bike. So now let's move on, I think, to the titanium. So the titanium bolts here, there's about 235 pounds worth of titanium bolts here. It doesn't look like it. It really doesn't look like it. And that's for brace fasteners, which are really reasonable. The same amount from, say, Pro Bolt or someone like that is about 500 pounds worth here. But for race fasteners, about 235. They're the, it's the cheapest titanium I've ever found. And so yeah, check them out. They're well worth looking at, but it's still a high cost. We'll see, we'll see what the cost per gram is. Let's get it bolted on. Titanium disc bolts, 78 grams. Disc bolt, 134. Fork pinch bolts, 28 grams for the titaniums. Titanium engine bolts, 91 grams. Hundred and eighty eight grams. Lower fork pinch bolts, titanium, forty two grams. We're done. Woo -hoo -hoo. We are complete. So, what are the findings? So what have we learned? <laughs> Apart from this stuff looks great. What's been the most co cost effective way of saving weight? Well, referring to my sheet of paper, the biggest shock of course was the carbon fiber. The fiberglass backed carbon was actually heavier than the standard panel. So I did some tests with my pre-preg pre-preg carbon fiber off the gsxr compared to the gsxr standard panels and if you're using proper proper carbon fiber there is a weight loss there's a weight loss uh, of 34 grams by changing those panels over but that's still a four pound 26 per gram uh cost to do that so carbon fiber if you of course with carbon sometimes you could be replacing metal parts so if you're replacing proper thick fairing panels with carbon there'd be a bigger weight saving when you're just replacing thin trim plastic pieces you may as well get the fiberglass back stuff because the weight saving is really neg negligible 
you may as well have that cost saving. So replacing small bits of trim panels, don't expect a big reduction in weight, even if you get the full carbon fiber. Komoto composites also make a subframe. So you can replace the subframe on the H2 with a carbon fiber version. Now that would be some big weight saving. So I may invest in one of those a bit later, but just for trim panels, carbon, maybe not so good. The best bang for your buck if you want to save some weight is of course to change the battery massive massive saving from changing the battery only six pence per gram to change the battery and it saves me 2.2 kilos or so so massive savings with the battery the next best thing to do is fit a titanium exhaust by fitting a titanium exhaust it's 16p per gram saved so Again, an 11 kilos overall saved. Obviously, with a new bike like the H2, where it's all Euro 4 and Euro 5 regulations, you've got lots of cats in there, lots of restrictions in there. There's a bigger gain by changing to titanium. The next best thing, believe it or not, is carbon wheels. The carbon wheels, I did a comparison with the Super Duke wheels, because the Super Duke is a single-sided swinging arm bike, a bit like the H2, so I took that as a comparison. So when I put on my carbon fiber wheels, I saved myself five kilos and that works at a cost of 54p per gram and don't forget carbon wheels it's not just that static weight it's that rotational weight so once they're spinning depending on the speed you're going that weight then times 10 you know that that more the, the bike spins the bigger the difference that weight makes so carbon wheels are probably the best mod you can do to save weight and also give you some enhanced performance but yeah 54 pence per gram to change the carbon wheels. Titanium was the next best thing. We, we saved 307 grams by changing all the steel bolts to titanium. I mean, we lost half of that by putting the fiberglass panels on. So that works at a cost of 77 pence per gram to change your fastenings to titanium. Roughly, depending how big the bolts you're removing and all that sort of thing. But I saved 307 grams by putting on all of that titanium bolts it looks the business but there is some weight loss you'd have to spend a lot of money to get like a kilo of weight saving huge amounts of money and lastly is the pre-preg carbon fiber as i've mentioned already 426 to per gram by changing small panels over to carbon so there we go i hope that's been of interest it certainly opened my eyes a little bit and it really shows you what bang for buck it is just to change your battery over to a lithium one so there we are the next garage video will be me taking the h2 down to CJS Racing to get it mapped finally. We're gonna take off the throttle body restrictions, clean up the fueling. We'll see the, what, how the fueling's running with the standard Van Diemen on there, which will be interesting. I will get it mapped for the baffle in because it's just too noisy without. So we're gonna map it as best it can be with the baffle in. Um, we're gonna map it per cylinder. So each four of the four cylinders have its own map. We're going to do, put the lambda into each of the headers and get a per cylinder mapping done. So none of this mapped at the tailpipe, mapped at each cylinder. It's going to be great. So that'll be the next garage video, the H2 being turned into even more of an animal. <laughs> oh, it's going to be insane. And I can't wait. See you later, guys. This is power level one, which is full power. This thing is absolutely bonkers. It's also pretty quick. Oh, oh. Yeah.